Okay, we've now got the weak, uh, lazy, relatively low mileage pack installed in the car with the uh, couple of modifications. First of all, it has the normal grid charger points um, connected down into the gap there, one on the contactor relay um, resistor and the other one on the negative terminal. No diodes at that end. They come here and then this car actually has um, the dumb charger built in. 12 volt LED driver, two 90 volt LED drivers. There's some diodes in the wires here and they prevent the battery power being fed back into the chargers when the chargers are off. And also it leads to a little socket here. So on the other side, we have a grid charger or a load socket. So this is where we can plug in the 300R resistive load. And the other point with this mod now is that I've added the PT strip switchover um, system and I've just used a single switch here as you can see it's a locking switch down is normal PTC function that's the positive temperature coefficient sensing strips on the cells so in the down position it feeds the signals into the BCM as normal in the up position it brings the PT strips out to this little 12 volt or 20 volt low voltage um, power adapter socket so that's where I can put the heater power in for battery pack heating so in the up position, PT strips are connected to this socket. In the down position, the PT strips are connected to their normal input on the BCM. So that's what we've got. The uh, wire for the switch here comes round under the edge here. And um, basically there's four wires. I've used some um, sill pin connectors here and cut the PT strip wires just as they go into the BCM connector. And obviously we've got four connections there and they bring the four wires round to the double pole switch. It's a double pole single throw switch and it's brake before make so that the if you happen to leave the power source plugged in it couldn't when you switch it to push um, 20 volts down into the BCM. So that's that. I'm um, just going for a very quick uh, test run in this uh, car. Now the battery has had one complete I'm going to call an extreme discharge in that the 300R, low, uh, 300R load was connected to the battery and left for 24 hours minimum and the battery voltage was down to virtually nothing, less, certainly less than 5 volts when I came back to it. Uh, then I recharged it just using the simple 300 uh, milliamp um, charge function. Uh, left it for 24 hours and just testing it now it seems to perform very well indeed um, battery is quite cold at the moment i haven't tested the heater function yet um, but now i've warmed it up a bit just driving it around it's giving 85 amps of assist and um, steady 50 amps uh, in fifth gear with foot to the floor and the state of charge seems to be holding very very well so i'll report on the further performance tests uh, for the next few days